let us pray we're going to ask God to break the demonic ties of our yesterday Isaiah chapter 9 from verse 4 to 5 we're going to ask God to break the demonic ties of yesterday what are the knocking problems coming from the powers of darkness covenants satanic entitlements that want to tackle you and tie you down pray with me as we go through this word the bible said for you have broken the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder the rod of his oppressor as in the day of media as god say oh god break from my back break from my shoulders break from me the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder the rod of his oppressor the rod of oppression as in the day of media the days of media represented the yoke of the past that past in media is a place of slavery it's a place of the wilderness but the bible said that he has broken the yoke of this burden as god let the burden of the past let the yoke of the past be broken off my shoulder in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Let the burden of the staff, let it be broken off my shoulder in the name of our Lord Jesus. Let the rod of the oppressor that has been on me, let it be broken in the name of our Lord Jesus. There is a rod of oppression. The enemy does not want to let you free from this Lord of wickedness. He wants his rod to continue to speak. He wants his rod to continue to weigh you down. But we declare this morning in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Let every rod of affliction, every yoke of oppression of the enemy be broken yes. off my shoulders. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, receive freedom from that yoke. Whether it's in your memory or it's in your mind, I command it now. In the name of our Lord Jesus, be lifted and be loose. In the name of our Lord Jesus, we receive liberty and freedom. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, let the power of the blood of Jesus introduce in our life a shift that this yoke shall not continue to hold us back in Jesus name declare this morning I see the goodness of God in my life I see the goodness of God in my future declare this morning I will see the goodness of God in my life and I see it today as I arise this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus I confess the goodness of God and I see it this morning in Jesus name Declare, my star shall arise. My star shall arise. My star arise by fire in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Your future is your star. Arise, has it been covered in the past? Declare, my star arise. My star arise. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. You know, I'm talking about the dustbin life. Dustbin life is a life of rejection. You know, it's a life where you are dumped. You live a life of where? Leftover. Declare today, does be life. I'm not your candidate. Reject me by fire in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Reject me by fire. You life of failure, reject me by fire. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Now pray this morning, say God, let doors open in the name of our Lord Jesus. I declare and declare this morning, doors are opening for you. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. I say doors are opening for you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. I pray for you today. Have you had demonic consumption? These demonic consumptions are things that you have eaten from the past. Either through ceremonies, mixtures of honey, sugar and water that the devil is using to oppress you. Are you a candidate of twin covenants? Evil dedication. Covenant of demonic parties. Attended places that they have tied into what you don't know. Polygamy. However, the devil has brought you into strange money. Are you a candidate of covenant of sexual partners? Are there pictures, whatever are evil yokes that the devil has put upon you? Incest. Chieftaincy rituals. Evil family name. And the enemy is trying to use them from your past. To frustrate your future you must now repent as we revoke this covenant pray with me say this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus I renounce all those things 
that were done for me or that I got myself into. I give them up today in the name of our Lord Jesus. And I revoke in the name of our Lord Jesus the past covenant that I have entered into knowingly or unknowingly. Declare this morning, I cancel them in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Now pray this prayer. Say this day, I bind the spirit in charge of this evil covenant. Declare this morning, I bind the spirit. I bind the spirit in charge of this old covenant that still from my past want to be into my future in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Now replace the causes and the covenant with Abraham's blessings. Declare Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. As you begin to say, you declare, I take all the grounds, I take back the grounds that Satan has taken from me, from my ancestors. I recover those past grounds in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Pray after me. Say, let everything that has been transferred into my life by demonic laying of hands lose its hold over my life right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Every demonic deposit by demonic past relationship, every demonic evil transfer that have come into my life by my past, I command them be lifted in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Somebody pray, declare today, every serpentine poison that have been passed into my life, I command them now, be flushed by the blood of Jesus. Somebody cry out. Declare this morning in Jesus' name. Every serpentine deposit that have entered into my life, flush it by the blood, flush it by the blood, flush it by the blood. Declare this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus. I plead the power in the precious blood of Jesus. And I declare they are flushed out now by the power in the precious blood of Jesus. Now pray this prayer. Say, let every fire fall. Let the fire fall on every spirit of death and hell fashioned against me in Jesus' name. Declare now. Say, let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall on every spirit of death. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall on every evil weapon or imagination. I break the head and crush the tail of the serpentine spirit against my life in Jesus' name. Then pray this prayer. Say, let the sword of fire begin to cut off every evil parental attachment in my life. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Say, Father, I reveal to me the evil confidence that the devil have arranged against me from my past. Father, reveal them to me. All the hidden and evil plan that the devil has from my past in a way to affect my future. Deliver me from their ensnarement, from, their, from me being ensnared by them again in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. I pray now for everyone that is here this morning. May the Lord God Almighty in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus by and through the release of the power in the precious blood of Jesus. Lose us from every evil and snare or trap or, 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 or cage. Whatever it is, is it a pit that your past dug for you? If Joseph never forgave his brothers out of his pit experience, if he never let go of Potiphar, he will never have survived in the palace. Even those men who forgot him in the prison, how do we know? Because he interpreted it as that it was meant for his good and not of evil. May we begin to interpret all those past experiences. The enemy thought it was for evil. Let him know it's for your good. He will be ashamed. He will be ashamed when he knows the way you are reasoning. I pray for you. And we decree and declare to them in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. That the Lord God Almighty will give us a positive mind of seeing our past. If your past had not ensnared, you may never have known Jesus. There are people that is trouble that brought them to their salvation. The devil thought that by crucifying Christ, he will end him. But never knew he was going to release him into his destiny. Some of us are learning obedience from the things we suffered. The Bible said that and recorded that of Christ. May you begin to see out of the past that where you are today, even to the fact that you are still pressing in, I'm not saying that you should be sick so that you will know Jesus. No, he didn't come to afflict you. But what I'm saying is that sometimes Paul will say that there is grace after he had prayed. Why? Because God was working on something. When it's God, there is grace. When you cannot bear it, the devil is at work. 
I tell you sincerely, if you are frustrated, please don't say it's God. No. He does not frustrate anyone. He does not tempt anyone. He says it's our desire. When it is fully blown, it becomes sin. Then it drives us away from him. Please, don't make excuse for that bad pattern. Don't make excuse for your past. That's not what this last word is all about. This word you are hearing is an encouragement that you walk past your past because you can't do anything about it. Just take it that whatever has happened, that now you are ready for your today and your future. You are not going back to it. If there are good lessons from your past, learn it and move on. But don't let it close the door. Leave the door of destiny open. What am I saying? You don't have to go back to some past things that are bad. Somebody has been so bad, treated you so badly. Excuse me, don't hate that person. But you have a choice in association. Choose wisely. Even the Bible has said to you, don't yoke with unequal. Sometimes people's action will reveal to you truly who they are. Learn from who they are and know who to work with. The Bible says, put some things into the hands of those that are faithful. Don't keep trusting your confidence or faith or destiny. Like your business into hands of unfaithful people, they will destroy it. There are practical things to learn from your past. But at the same time, don't let you, don't let it stop you from trying out and also trusting God for the future. No matter how much you have been disappointed, there is hope for anyone that is joined in Christ Jesus. Amen.